All right, this is a take two. I went through the whole take. Turns out it wasn't recording, so I was just kind of rambling to myself here. So welcome to my first video on this channel. What I'm gonna be doing is documenting my journey through getting my real estate license and everything that entails in that. Now this part I'm doing here is how long does it take to pass your real estate course? I am in Texas, so I will be getting my license through the TREC. Uh, Texas Real Estate Commission and one of the requirements is that you pass uh, a 180 hour course now Texas has one of the highest hourly requirements the only other one that I know I would compare it to is California which I believe is 140 uh, I believe like Pennsylvania Pennsylvania other states um, are like 40 hours 60 hours it just depends but Texas is gonna be one of the highest now the way it breaks down is <clears throat> the full course is six parts uh, in those six parts you're gonna have Texas principles of real estate part one Texas principles of real estate part two Texas law of contracts Texas pro promulgated Texas promulgated contract forms Texas law of agency and Texas real estate finance those are the six parts and each part is a 30-hour course at the end of each course, you're gonna have a test that you have to pass in order to jump to the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, right? So you have to pass each one. Now, the TREC is not the one issuing this course. If you go onto their website, trec.gov, you're gonna see different uh, schools and courses um, that that are authorized uh, by the TREC to be teaching these courses. Um, you can go to school for that, it, but if you do it like in an actual school itself, it's gonna take much longer than it's gonna take you to do it online. I know some people rather go to school because you have an uh, instructor there to answer your questions. Uh, you have a lot more hands-on approach, but if you're doing it online, uh, depending on where you take it, um, you're gonna kind of go at your own speed. There's some things you're gonna know, you're gonna wanna fast forward through, some things you're gonna wanna uh, you know, repeat, rewind, and listen to again. Um, <clears throat> the course that I took is called Real Estate U, and you can find that, you can find them on uh, online at realestateu.official.academy. Um, this course here ran me $160. Uh, so there are going to be courses that are more expensive. There's going to be courses that this is one of the cheapest ones I found uh, that I found. Um, I believe there was another one that was like a hundred bucks, but it was all uh, text. Uh, what I mean by that is you kind of just have to go in like a textbook and read everything yourself. This one here uh, I like because it uh, it had kind of like a audio uh, somebody reading. Uh, the text and kind of letting you know kind of like an instructor uh, audio instructor uh, basically what it is now I will say this there are uh, let me go into this real quick each course there's six courses total each course has 10 to 12 chapters and in those 10 to 12 chapters you're gonna have pages each page you open up is gonna be timed so let's say for example, one page is just a uh, contract download for you to review the contract. It's not gonna let you, it's not gonna let you fast forward through that page for maybe six minutes. Um, there's gonna be another page uh, that you open up. It's not gonna let you go to the next page uh, for maybe 30 minutes. It just depends what the instructor is teaching, but it's not gonna let you go forward. Now that's just this Real Estate U course. I don't know the way um, these other courses do it, but that's Real Estate U, and I think that's probably the way um, every other course is gonna do the same thing, just because um, they wanna make sure you get your full 30 hours per course and your full 180 hour course total. Um, again, I started this course February the 3rd, and I finished it on February the 17th. So it took me two weeks, uh, just about two weeks to burn through this course. I was on this course every single day. Um, I mean, I was going hard trying to get this course out the way. Now, you might be saying, okay, so I took the course, now what? Now do I get my real estate license? No, there's a lot more things to it. Um, you have to actually register through uh, TREC 
and uh, submit a formal application. Uh, the application cost, I believe right now it's $205, $205 to do that. And then you have to wait. You have to submit all your course certificates through the TREC to let them know that you did complete the 180 hour course. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is after, when you're done with your first course and you're gonna take that final exam, there's six final exams, right? Each course, six courses. So that final exam, you're gonna pay $15. And again, I'm not sure the way other courses do it, but you're gonna to have to uh, use a proctor. Um, they go through, uh, I believe it's called Proctor U. And what that is, is when you, you're gonna take your test online, there's gonna be somebody watching you take your test, making sure that you're not on your phone getting the answers. Um, making sure that you don't have a cheat sheet or something like that, right? So there's gonna be somebody actually there walking you through the steps and uh, watching you through you know, your webcam or what have you. And um, just to make sure that you are taking the test correctly and that somebody's not taking the test for you, you're gonna to need to have your ID, uh, show them your ID, show them that it's you, the whole thing. Um, you're gonna do that six times and for each course that you take, it's $15, right? So that's what's that, uh, 30, 60, 90, so that's an extra $90. So that's 160 plus 90, so that's 250, just in the course itself. Um, so then from there, let's say you submit all this uh, information to TREC, T-R-E-C, uh, Texas Real Estate Commission. From there, what you're gonna do is, once they approve you, um, what's gonna happen is they're gonna send you um, a packet or maybe not even a packet. They're gonna send you the information to go get your, your fingerprints taken for a background check. Then from there, what happens is you have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, once your, back, your background check clears, a lot of people don't know this. What they're gonna do is make sure that you don't have any outstanding student loan debt. Now, you might have student loan debt that isn't um, in default. If it's not in default, you're good. But if you have student loan debt that is in default, that might be an issue. So just be aware of that. So you might be thinking, man, you know what? I'm not sure about my background for whatever reason, right? I'm not sure, you know, I have, I've had a, a misdemeanor back in the day. Maybe you even had a felony or you're not sure about your, uh, your default situation as far as your student loans, right? What you can do before you apply to um, get your real estate license through Trek, which is $205, is you can submit a background form. Now the background form is $50. So 50 um, instead of your 205, and then they can still deny you because you're not sure. Um, you know, I'd pay the 50 before um, I do that full 205. So the background check, what, what that's gonna do is you send it to them with your $50. Um, you know, you tell them your situation, everything, you know, your background, all that, and then they'll get back to you, let you know, like, no, you, you can still apply or you need to clear this up before we can go forward with you. Um, so that's just another thing to think about. Um, like I said, I will be documenting uh, all my steps right now um, to get my real estate license. Uh, so if you're interested in getting yours, you know exactly how much it's gonna cost, what you need, how long it takes, all the way through uh, interviewing with brokers, all that stuff. I'm gonna be documenting everything. So right now what I'm doing, like I said, I just passed my six part 180 hour course, which took me two weeks, is I'm gonna I'm waiting actually waiting for Trek to get back to me. So what I did, um, which a lot of people don't do, um, what I did is I actually applied through Trek first, just because they're backlogged. It's gonna take them about a month to get back to you, right? So I applied through Trek first before I started my course because I knew the course was gonna take, um, I, thought, I actually thought my course was gonna take like two months because everybody was telling me the course is gonna take at least two months, but I just kind of shut out all the noise and I sat here on my laptop and knocked it out. Um, of course, it's gonna take longer if you know, you're know you doing other stuff, but I just really wanted to get this out the way. So I actually um, applied on Trek. So that took off two weeks from the time I had to wait because if I did my 180 hour course and then applied through Trek, I have another two weeks that I, I'd actually have to wait. Uh, so right now I'm just waiting for Trek to get back to me. I submitted um, all my, um, my certificate, my course certificates. 
Uh, so I'm waiting for them to get back to me to give me the information to go get my fingerprints taken, pass my background check, and then we'll go from there. Um, if you haven't already, be sure and like and subscribe so you can uh, follow along and see uh, the progress and see how long it takes from start to finish to get everything to get everything done. And uh, I appreciate you watching and check you on the next one.